In this video, we are going to be going over how to replace your motor belt and your Dolphin X-Horse XP005. Make sure that you purchase the right motor belt for your key cutter. For the Dolphin, it is the XP005 for this model. You will also need a 2.5 millimeter hex, a three millimeter hex, and a five millimeter hex in order to take apart your dolphin. So we'll get started. So first step, we'll take out our five millimeter hex and we will remove our handle. Got it out on this side, the other side. getting that off and this little socket will come off as well so you just remove that make sure you get all your pieces out like so okay that piece is still in there throw that in all right, so set that aside, keep everything safe. Boom, boom. Okay. Next, we're going to take our two and a half millimeter and we have one, two, three, four on this side, two in the back and four on the other side. Take that out. everything nice and safe Once you've removed the four from your left side, you're going to turn it around and remove the two right back here. Once you have removed these two in the back, you're going to turn it around to the right side and remove one, two, three, four. Once you have removed all four from your right side, your two on the back, and your four on the left side, you're now going to take your three millimeter, and we have one in there, and one right in there. Once you have removed these two, you have one right up top, another three millimeter, Once you have removed the two screws here and the one screw up top, you need to remove this bolt. So I take another Allen, I insert it into the hole there, try and focus it for you. And then this one, you know what, I may have to do it this way. And then this one, you turn to the right to loosen. Once you loosen it, you can just unthread that. And it looks just like that. Now that you have all of the screws and bolts out of there, you need to take off the back casing. When you do this, you need to be very careful with these cords in here. So the first cord that you're gonna have to remove is for the power switch. So that's right there. You can just let that hang. There's a little release right there on the back. You just need to remove that. And that 
is the only other thing that attaches to that casing. So we can set that aside. The next things you are going to have to disconnect is find the LED. This LED is connected to the lights in the front here. So we need to disconnect that. We got that one. And then finally, we need to disconnect the display. We got that. Once we have that, we have two Phillips head screws that we will need to remove. Okay, so I have my drill here. One screw. And two. Set that aside. Now we still won't be able to remove this. Why? It's because we're going to have to use a flathead right there in order to bring this up enough for it to be pulled off. We need to pull that up. Now, before you start to move this, I would suggest taking a colored Sharpie and just marking the thread so you know exactly where it needs to go, right where you left it off. So we're gonna take our flathead and we are going to turn it to the right. Turn it to the right and keep turning, keep turning until we can remove our plate. Once we have that off, we can clearly see what happened. It snapped in half. That's why I bought five. We're going to take our new one, thread it around just like so. And now that milling cutter should rotate. So we can go back. I might have to loosen this just a little bit more. That's the max. Okay, so we have that back on. Take our flat head to lock that back in place. Turn it now to the left. We wanna remember exactly where we were. And we were right there. Take our two Phillips head screws and attach it back. One and number two. Okay, attach our, again, this one is the display. Click that display back in. Bring back our LED, put that back in. Before we put that back cover on, you have to make sure to attach that power back on right there. And we will just slide that right in place. Now that we have our cover back on, we can take our two and a half millimeter and get that back in place. Doing all four. Now we put the four screws back in, those four bolts. We have the two bolts back in the front, the one bolt up top the two in the back and the other four on that left side before we can finish reassembling. So that is what I'm going to do now. So after you have put all of your two and a half and three millimeter bolts back in, you need to thread this back on there. So again, we went to the right to get it off. So now we're going counterclockwise to get it back on all the way up there. And then you just want to take your little Allen key and just make sure that it is tight. Now you are ready to put your handles back on. So you need to take these little adapters, throw them in on each side. Take your handle, throw it over, take your bolts and thread them in, just getting them started. Again, these are five millimeter bolts. Put that on. Nice and tight. Finish up the other side. Okay, now you have your old one that you can toss. You can turn it back on. And we will test the milling cutter. All right, we're gonna load into the X-Force app. We're gonna connect to our machine. We're gonna hit device info. We're gonna go to motor measurement. And you're gonna just hit main motor measurement. Let's see. You're gonna hit start test. And there 
there she goes. She's spinning. So we can turn it off. And now we can cut keys again. I would do a clamp calibration, a cutter, a milling cutter calibration, and a height level adjustment just because we took everything apart and we want to make sure that we're going to be able to decode and cut keys properly. So that was the step-by-step -step of how to replace your motor belt on your X-Horse Dolphin 005. Hope that helps and thanks for watching.